I'm the J5777. I'm from the talented brown bagel star star. What up, J57 from the Brown Bag All Stars? I'm an MC, but you know, mainly a producer right now. Uh, I also manage SoulCon and Scenes, so my life is a little bit crazy. And uh, so, managing comes first, then music, and then uh, you know, living with my girl and all that stuff is obviously more important. Uh, so, I don't really have much time in my life, so when I have new records and clothes or whatever, they kind of go all over the place. So, don't judge me when you see this fucking place. But this is where I make all my beats. Uh, I'll start off by telling you, you know, first and foremost, I love playing shit by hand, but I also sample a lot. Um, I have a lot of records. You can't really tell, but I have a lot. I mean, I worked at Fat Beat, so I got a shitload of them for free. And um, there's just tons and tons of records under there. Uh, my girl's going to kill me when she sees that, you know, I let people see how gross I let this place get, but it's all good. Um, I got a lot of records, you know, from family. I got a lot of records that I went out and bought from, like, Goodwill places and whatever from Mad Cheap. And also I got tons of them from my homie Marco Polo. He actually, uh, he gave me a shitload of them. So I got a lot of those. I got a whole, tr you know, these are all Marco records, all these. And then under here, my uncle, you know, all Italian records and stuff. So, and also from my friend uh, Joe. So it's like just crazy amounts of records and whatever else. But I like to, uh, I like to make beats, you know, using the keyboard and shit like that. Obviously sampling, like I said. And my main thing that I love the most is the MPD. I've been using this for like a year and a half, and uh, it's been my biggest, you know, thing that I've been using. Also on top MPD of MPD twenty four. This is a uh, thirty two. MPD thirty two. I use Reason three. About to get Reason five, and uh, that's all I've been using. I've been making beats since oh three, and all I've used is Reason. I've used the MP a few times and whatever else, and it's just my favorite thing. And on top of it, you know, you know, I got my group Brown Bag All Stars. Like I was saying, that's one of our records that came out. Uh, my own record above it, Digital Society, is an instrumental record. It's sample free, electronic slash hip hop kind of stuff. And I did the lead single on Homeboy Sandman's record right there, uh, Angels with Dirty Faces. And to be honest with you, I couldn't do it all without uh, my co producer right here who's scratching herself, my dog Suri. So she helps me with everything. Good girl. And basically, you know, I'll run through and show you, like, you know, I'll sample off the turntable. You know, my girl gave me this for Christmas, little Charlie Brown. So, you know, sample right off of that and then, you know, cut it up on the computer and throw that on MPD and make my beats with it. But, you know, just different ways of doing stuff. Um, this is one thing I like to do is sample myself pretty much. Like, I'll play something. And I'm giving away a good secret here. I don't know why I'm doing it, but I am. You know, I'll play something, chop it up, and then throw it on MPD and stuff like that. So I've done that and I've added in, you know, some break drums and shit like that. So... Basically. Some stuff like that, regular. Some regular shit. I also got uh, some new joints I'm doing with my homie Khalil. Shouts to Khalil. He's on Premier's uh, label. So me and him are working on a bunch of stuff. Shouts to Premier, of course. And uh, I'd rather show you that right now because this is a new beat I made. Um, this is more like my drum style. What's, what's this you got right here? Which one? Oh, this? Yeah. To be honest with you, I don't even know. My boy gave me this. Just some mix or shit. These are uh, records, CDs, whatever, from uh, DJ Miro. Good looks to him, man. Japan? On that one. Yeah, he came to Fat Beats. And these are all my to-do lists for an 8-bit project I'm doing with Audible Doctor. All right. <laughs> and what's, what's the, the keyboard that you're rocking there? That's, is that an Axiom? Uh, that is, oh. actually. It's hard to see because it's... Uh, it's Radium? Something like that. It's pile, you know, there's a pile of bills and reminders over it, but it's all good because I get shit done. And, uh, yeah, basically I used this shit to play a lot of stuff, like everything that was on, on the Digital Society album, that was all, you know, played on this, so. Are you classically trained? Um, not at all, actually. You just do everything by ear? Yeah, everything by ear, so. This is one of the beats. Kind of shit, you know, like really working on drums. How'd you do the drums? 
Uh, basically, I like to separate them a lot, but on this one, this one I kind of put everything on the same shit, you know? And I like to just work with them by adding in, you know, anything from an equalizer to really just mess with it. So, and just find where the frequencies are at. Just, I wanted to... I want the drums to pound as much as possible without a clipping, to be honest with you. Like, I'm a big Dilla fan, like, obviously the king of the drums, and uh, that's kind of where I got the idea to, to just make the, the drums pound through and kind of break your face kind of shit, you know? So. Are you doing side chains, like, or? Uh, my man DJ Brace taught me that. I actually don't really know how to do it that well. He, uh, he, even, he doesn't even use Reason. He uses the MP. So he, he actually looked it up online and showed me, like, a tutorial and all that, and I couldn't even really figure it out, but I'm going to get into that more because... You know, he was telling me that's, like, the way to do shit, you know? And so, do, you, do you layer your drums? Uh, I layer the shit out of my drums, man. I got, like, tons of kits that I've created, and um, I've traded with, like, my homie DJ Goo. He's just a crazy engineer, and he's created some really crazy drums, and he's hooked me up with a lot of them, like, hundreds, thousands, all that kind of shit. And uh, that's about it, man. Like, I just I mess with whatever I can, you know? And, uh, again, you know... I'll make, I'll make a beat out of anything if I have to, honestly. Like, I'm trying to think. I made a beat out of something the other day. I can't find it. But I was, I was walking by, with, and I had my droid, and I had this little recorder. And some people were singing in the subway or whatever, and I recorded that shit. And I went home and made a beat out of it. You know For what I real? mean? For real? Yeah. Inspiration just drawn from everywhere. Yeah, I was, just, had... I was just walking, and I heard the shit, and I was like, I got a sample. Do you, have, you, do you have that beat on here? Uh, yeah, I got to find that shit. Um, Soulcon might be using it. Most it... likely he is. And then, and what can I turn? You rocking the Newmark here, right? Uh, this, yeah, my homie. Uh, is it direct drive? Yeah, yeah, it is. Yep, my man uh, Jeremy actually hooked me up with that shit. <laughs> this is the original sample I'll play, and then I'll play the beat. Just, you know, so. The best part is that dude walking by is like, that's for show. That was kind of dope. <laughs> so I chopped that shit up. I kind of filtered it as much as I could to make it sound right, you know, because I didn't want it to be like too messed up. It's mad muffled sounding. digging versus uh digging vinyl mp3 sampling what's your take uh honestly like i don't really care too much like i know people are realists about shit and trust me i've heard it all working at fat beats for six years like people want to chop your head off if you're not you know digging with vinyl or whatever but like i said i have a ton of vinyl so i don't really give a shit uh what people think because i have a lot of it and i definitely have sampled shit off youtube and mp3s i've definitely done it um i don't really give a shit if it's hot it's hot you know we've sampled video games all that kind of stuff Next door, uh, literally on the other side of this wall, is Brown Bag Studio. DJ Element lives next door to me. He uh, he records everything for Brown Bag, for Scene, everything. So let's go. All right. Yeah, I don't know what I hit. For some reason, that shit is mad basic. Special guest producer, Bevel. He's <laughs> blizzard in like 15 years or some shit so that's not happening right now. It's pretty uh you know it's a pretty long journey man. So can't have a little ice right now. Bucktown? Yeah. Hey, what up man? Nice how are you? <laughs> Everything, man. We record all of our shit here. Elements, uh, thousands of records are in Albany right now because he didn't. He hasn't moved them down here yet. But uh, he's got like a million turntables, and we record everything right here. And uh, actually, you know, it's it's funny. I want to tell you this from off the jump. We record everything to to tape first to that. This is right here. 
Audible Doctor gave us that. So everything you hear from Brown Bag is analog, actually. No, I'm just playing. It's not. It's fucking Pro Tools. <laughs> but, uh, you know, we record right here. The booth right there. We got this little shit. That makes everything sound good. And uh, I don't know. I think uh, they did a show somewhere, seen this in Element, and got this. So that's what's up. And, yeah, we just, you know, shouts to Dilla. We got the Dilla poster that Eclipse put together. Damn. That was on the door at Fat Beats. Couldn't throw that out. Had to take it for the studio. So do you do, uh, do you mix your beats here? You mix them next door? I honestly don't even mix. I mix, like, whatever I do mix, it's like, I do that shit in reason. Because mm -hmm. I don't even know how to mix at all. Audible Doctor mixes everything for us, and uh, he's good at it, and I suck. So I mix my own beats. So if you hear, if you hear my beats, it's my mix, but just, like, boost it up a little bit, you know? Uh -huh. Nice. Any other uh, pieces of equipment that you use or that's essential to brown bag all stores? Um, J57? Yeah, I guess this fridge, man. This is, this is a big, crucial part because we keep a lot of 40s in there. Right now, as you can see, nothing. But we keep, you know, 22s, Corona, whatever. Okay. You want to cop some beats, 5-7 uh, group at Gmail, and the G is actually a 6. So 5-7, then number 6, R-O-U-P at Gmail. Hit that up. That's my management company. Um, I, me and a few other people. So you get one of us. Uh, also, Twitter, underscore, J57, J57. Uh, you know, MySpace, if you still do that. Google, just Google J57. You'll find everything you need to find. YouTube, whatever. Um, and also, 2011, a lot of shit coming out. Me and Scene's full-length album. Me and Soul Con's EP that I'm producing. Uh, me and Blame One's album. That shit's going to be crazy, too. Um, what else? What else? What else? Me and YC the Cynic are going to start something. Um, just a lot of a lot of shit going on, and of course the Brown Bag debut album is coming out next summer probably. So some of my best beats are on that shit. Nah, nah. Uh, I used to go by J Logic, and nine other people apparently did. So I was just like, yo, it's not original enough. Uh, you only live once, so fucking be, you know, stand out a little bit, do something. And uh, Audible Doctor was like, yo, just go by a government. My government name is James Hines. So he's like, go by J Hines, and I was like. Yo, that's a cool idea, but Jim Hines is actually a big, like, techno DJ, apparently. Like, one of my friends who goes to, like, raves and shit told me. I was like, I can't even, I can't even go by my government name. He's like, go by J57. The 57 is, like, the 57 varieties of, you know, Heinz ketchup. So I was like, not a bad idea. I tried, you know, telling people that, and they were like, oh, that's a pretty cool name. And I was like, I guess it's, you know, kind of sticks. So. All right. That's about it. But thank you, Mr. Dr. Philip Drummond. Appreciate it. Me and AMD's Beats Battle Battle Battle.